the Immortals were an elite infantry unit of 10,000 soldiers in the Achaemenid Empire. At its height, the Achaemenid Empire, under the rule of Darius I, stretched from the north of Greece and Egypt to the north of modern-day India, with soldiers in the Immortals unit being recruited from all around the Empire. The Immortals were formed under the reign of Cyrus the Great, who expanded the Achaemenid Empire into Lydia, Elam and Babylon during the 6th century BC. Following the fall of Babylon to the Achaemenid Empire, Patea Atashbod instituted an elite guard of Immortals to protect the king. From here, a unit of 10,000 were formed, claiming to be the best of the best soldiers in the entire kingdom. The Greek historian Herodotus calls them the Immortals because following the death of one soldier, he was immediately replaced by another. This ensured the Immortals remained strong and stable throughout the duration of long military campaigns and throughout the longevity of the Achaemenid Empire. The Immortals had two core functions, to protect the king and to contribute to fighting enemies of the Persian Empire. The Immortals were clothed in colourful tunics with sleeves and wore iron breastplates with a fish scale appearance. They wore trousers and shields made of wickerwork. Each soldier had a quiver that would hang under their shields alongside short spears large bows, and 30 arrows made of cane. The Immortals also wielded daggers that hung from their belts down their right thighs. The Immortals were followed by caravans of camels and mules that transported their supplies alongside mistresses and attendants that helped serve them. Military service began at the age of 20 and professional soldiers were permitted to retire at 50. After their military service, the Immortals were granted land rights and pensions to compensate for their contributions. The Immortals were designed for open plain combat, typically in arid and desert environments. This is because the Persian Empire originated in the Iranian Plateau where the conditions are dry, sandy and open. They were light and were able to attack their enemies at range and in close combat. However, they were best suited to keep their distance from their enemies and defeat them with superior missile power. From the age of 5, they were trained to use the bow, throw the javelin and ride on horseback. The soldiers were trained to handle cold, hot and wet terrains. During training, their food was spare, encouraging soldiers to survive off the land if necessary. The young immortals would hunt regularly and compete in several athletic competitions. Religion was important for the immortals too, learning the importance to respect their god, Ahura Mazda. The immortals were critical for Persian expansion into Egypt under Cambyses II in the year 525 BC. The Achaemenid Empire engaged the Egyptians at the Battle of Pelusium, with reports suggesting that Persian soldiers used cats and other sacred Egyptian animals to scare the pharaoh's army. The Immortals also proved successful during the Achaemenid conquest of northwestern India and in Darius I's campaign against the bare-backed, horse-riding Scythians in the late 6th century. The Scythians were an Eastern European nomadic group that used scorched earth tactics to destroy the invading Persian forces. While the Scythians were able to defend themselves from Darius I and the Immortals, the Persians conquered many of their cultivated lands. However, the most famous engagements of the Immortals were with the Greeks during the Persian Wars of the 5th century. In the year 490, the Persians invaded at Marathon, 42 kilometers north of the city of Athens. The conditions of Marathon were much more suited to close combat, with Greek hoplites proving to be strategically and tactically superior. The Immortals had inferior body armour and weaponry against the heavily armoured Greek hoplite, paving the way for a Persian loss. At the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC, the Persian commander Hydarnes deployed the Immortals against the famous 300 Spartans. They were no more successful than the standard Persian troops because the Spartans had opted to fight at a narrow pass, neutralising the Persian numerical advantage. The Immortals remained as the Achaemenid Empire's strongest forces up until the Battle of Galgamea in 331 BC. This was a famous encounter between Alexander the Great and Darius III, where Alexander and the Macedonians proved victorious. The Macedonians were able to overpower the Immortals by using 6 metre spears which were 5 metres longer than the Immortals. The decline of the Achaemenid Empire and the death of Darius III in 330 BC saw Macedonian control of the region and the destruction of the Immortals' military unit. The Immortals' tradition was revitalised in the Sasanian Empire. However, this was short-lived when Islamic conquest 
of the Sassanid Kingdom in 654 AD disbanded the unit.